Please make some noise. Put your hands together, guys. Where's the energy? We need it back in the room for Agapito Rodriguez and Kat Diaz! Welcome to the stage, you two. Welcome, welcome. Who's going first? I'll go first. All right, Kat's going first. All right, ready? Three, two, one, gross! Give it up for Flushy Arnaz, everybody. <laughs> Oh. Petey's so fat, he was the last Mexican picked at the Home Depot. <laughs> but uh, actually, he is fat um, because he takes the name of his favorite band too seriously. It's Jimmy Eats World, not Petey Eats Jimmy John's. Give it up for Kat, she's so fashionable. Cat dresses like an actual wet seal. Uh, <laughs> where'd she get that outfit from, Cat Forever 31? Uh, <laughs> That's, uh, that's pretty rich coming from Taco Bell's emo phase. Uh, <laughs> Petey's so stupid, he thought the Black Parade was what happens on Juneteenth. Uh, <laughs> um, Kat often gets mistaken for Dora the Explorer. Yeah, if she was a ghost. <laughs> Kat's so pale, dumb haircut. When I first, with a deep voice, when I first met her, I almost called her Catsper, the, the trans ghost. Uh, <laughs> I never thought that I was gonna get roasted by the shadow figure you see when you do too much salvia and hot sauce. <laughs> Petey, <laughs> Petey looks like someone who hunts large animals and keeps their hides to fuck. Oh no, no, I misread that. Petey looks like everyone he fucks hides. If you guys don't know, she's gonna star in a movie coming up soon. Uh, it's a Mexican musical, Faja Land. Uh, <laughs> She's going under the name Emma Stoned. Uh, uh, Kat Sober going on two years. Give it up for her right quick, guys. No alcohol was a choice. The celibacy just came with it. Uh, Kat's pussy is so dry after she saw Dune 2, she just shoved a thumper up inside her, just hoping to attract any worm. Uh, it's true, it's true. Thank you, Pablo Escobar and Grill. Cat looks like if Wallace and Gromit wanted to add a Mexican maid. Uh, <laughs> Petey actually doesn't speak great English, but he's obsessed with anime. When people ask him about his culture, he doesn't talk about mi gente. He talks about my hentai. Uh, funny you say that. Cat with your uh, weird hentai haircut and pale face, it kind of looked like if a yin yang sign got punched. Like, um, Cat's really into wrestling, um, which her being into wrestling is a good metaphor for her dating life, getting tossed around by closeted men, just minus the ring. <laughs> Thank you, Alfred Molina's bloated corpse. <laughs> Petey is a comedy show producer with a girlfriend, which means he spends 100% of his time begging people to come. <laughs> and actually, him and his girlfriend have a lot in common, right? Because Petey likes to drink energy drinks. She also likes to bang monsters that are unhealthy. <laughs> And they went to their first pride parade this year. Neither of them are gay. This was just the first year she admitted to fucking him publicly. Wow. Cat uh, Kat actually That's auditioned. Good. She actually auditioned to be one of those uh, like kid-like people in How to Catch a Predator. <laughs> but the moment, the moment she opened her voice and the casting director heard how deep her voice was, they were like, sir, <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> I was arrested that episode. <laughs> that was a battle, you guys. Give it up for them. Good job, you two. That was their first time battling, everybody. Seriously, give it up for them. That was a great battle. They wrote more jokes than required. I was very impressed. So great job to the both of you for doing it tonight. Um, let's let's hear from the panel. Kevin Kellum, how are we feeling? Uh, let's give it up for uh, swipe right on Tinder and swipe left on any other fucking app at all. 
Jesus Christ, Cat, I get it. You want a second date? This guy's like, I don't fucking care anymore. My band's gonna make it. I wear our own shirt. <laughs> That isn't white, that isn't white on black print. That's just your cum. <laughs> I didn't go do laundry this uh, I, I, We know, dude, we know. Uh, no, but give it, that was a hell of a first battle for you, buddy, a hell of a first battle. But Cat, Cat had these sassy comebacks. There was these fucking comebacks she peppered you with every single time, and sometimes you don't see those coming, and you're not making anyone come, so I'm going with her. I, I thought, fuck Cat, fuck Cat. Cat. Uh, Max Urge, you got the mic in your hand, let's hear from you. It's, it's 4 a.m., the bar's about to close. It's these two people who find each other. <laughs> Kat, you've really been sober for two years? Yeah. So the outfit's three years old. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Oh my God. Me, me and my girlfriend have been watching Shit's Creek, so I'm feeling sassy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, very fun battle. That's awesome. That was your best, really good first r battle. But I think towards the end, Cat just started running away with it. So I gotta give it to Cat. Ooh, two for Cat. Queenie bitch, let's hear from you. Uh, this was a really great roast. I loved when Cat uh, said that he was hunting large animals. She left out the fact that he was actually the large animal. Um, also, I just need to be very clear. You kept calling her pale. You are the same fucking color, okay? You have rosacea. That's the difference. Uh, honestly, this was a really great battle. Both of you fucking killed it. Honestly, the writing was really good, but I do have to say, Kat, you had the rebuttals on every single one. Hey, hey. winner, winner, Kat. Chris Griego, let's hear from you. Dora's exploring half of a dominatrix, apparently. <laughs> I liked it. I mean, dude, pe uh, Petey, Petey, the dune pussy thumper yeah. scenario with attracting a worm. Yeah. Buddy, I saw that movie too many times. I liked the joke. You need to know it hit for me hard. Forever 31, you gotta start it off hot. But Cat, here's the thing. You clawed your way back and you swipe or no swiping to him. Very hard with the Pablo Escobar and grill and begging to come. You're the winner for me. Cat wins. Cat Diaz is our winner, everybody. But final thoughts from Emily Ogle. Well, you said she was into wrestling, we can tell. Uh, and she said you was a Mexican? I'm Mexican and Puerto Rican. Yeah. You look like a subway. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that Diaz is our winner. Give it up. Our first time winner, huh?